All right, you guys, you wanted part two of my acrylic storage display collection. So if you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. So part one is where I show you all my used or pre-loved eBay acrylic finds. And I it's really cool. If you haven't seen that part one, the first video, I will link it down below. So make sure to go check that out either before or after this video. But hello, you guys. My name is Gina and you are in my beauty room. So here is part two of my acrylic collection. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I do have um, a lot of acrylic organizers, display cases on these two shelves that I picked up on walmart.com. And I will link those down below as well because I do get a lot of questions on these. I love the fact that these shelves, they do have like clear glass. So it kind of looks like in a way these white shelves are floating. So it's really cool. I think it's part of the Monarch collection. And yeah, anyways, I think that's a good little storage idea if you want to see more of your makeup or books or whatever you use it for. So let's start up here. So how cool is this? acrylic organizer so this of course was on ebay it is pre-owned um but it said it was like new the reason why they were selling is because there was a crack right there as you can see but this is fully functional the top has like a little flip lid and then more compartments in there and this is kind of like not kind of but this is a like a test tube laboratory kind of display rack where you put the test tubes in there um for that phlebotomist use so and these would be the empty ones that they put here so um i decided to buy it and i did use it for all my pencils as you can see my lip pencils eyeliners brow pencils so you could use it for a variety of of um makeup products or whatever you know you use by clicking on this video you're probably a makeup lover so you know you would probably use it for that if, if you came for ideas for that for your makeup collection storage so this one i also found this one is so cool i've never seen a piece like this so this one you do it does come up right here this lid and it's kind of like an odd shaped acrylic as you can see it did have a little crack in the back right there, but I mean, it's okay. Um, I did have them wrap it really well. I asked them if they can wrap it really well to prevent any further damage, which it did a good job. So they did wrap it pretty well. It does have a little, I don't, I don't know if you can see right there, there's a little hidden drawer. It kind of reminds me of a staircase and you know how they have those little hideaway doors um, in a in a home that has a staircase kind of like this so I thought that that was cool so in here I have some palettes and my Stila liquid eye glitters and stuff like that but that is so neat I keep saying that that's neat because it is this is my probably most unique acrylic find that I found um, on eBay so moving down here these two items I did pick these up on Amazon so um, I will link them down below if I can still find them. I know that there's they're always out of stock and the items are unavailable, but I will try. I think this is a Whitmore brand, and I forget which brand that was, that one. But these are very good, very useful, like acrylic storage organizers. I love the fact that they have drawers. They slide very easily. And the tops of both of these have a little lip where you can lift it up. And that one is just put back. Okay, moving down here, I did find this one on Amazon as well. Now, they do not even have these. I remember when these were on there, I bought two of them for only $25 like this. And it goes very deep inside. You see that? So yeah, I really, really like that. And the handles are pretty easily grippable. They have like a little concave groove right there that you can grasp like that. So this one, I did pick this up on eBay. This is pre-owned. It's, it's, um, it's supposed to be for nail polish. So it's like a countertop nail polish rack. But I wanted to use it for 
my foundations. That way I can see all what I have, what I want to use, and it makes me use it more rather than putting them in a drawer where there's no, um, like, glass drawers, transparency. And, you know, it just makes me want to use my foundations even more. So down here I do have a couple of more acrylic little, uh, these are five, let me see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, these are four drawer acrylic organizers. And these pulls, these drawers pull out really nice. So these ones I found for $19.99 a piece at Home Goods. So those were brand new. Right here, this one is pretty darn cool too. So this is basically like a candy, um, like a candy dish, like the, not a dish. What do you call it? Like when you go to the mall and they have those candy stores and then you can just open it and, and scoop out your own candies and stuff like that. So that's what th these displays are. But I wanted to use it for scrunchies and hair ties and I knew I wanted to use it for this. So it ended up being a good little storage piece for all my hair ties my scrunchies and i can see all the colors that i do own so i thought that that was really really cool down here i do have this one is from the container store so this one i did pick up at the container store when i went to um austin it was it austin or da and to dallas yeah so i did pick that up the one below here i also picked up at the container store um so yeah that one was just one little piece. I have the other ones um, on my part one video if you want to check that out. So these are the Muji. These are the first little acrylic drawers I've ever got online. I ordered it from Muji.com and it took forever to get in, but I ordered four of them. So back then when YouTube, the makeup YouTube just started, they all of them, they always had these Muji five drawer little acrylic uh, con like cases on their vanities so I wanted to you know copy them and I wanted to get one just like them and I did um, they were pretty pricey back then I think each were, was like 40 something dollars and I don't know what they are now but I can link those down below as well so this one I did pick up on Amazon which this one's pretty cool like on this side to the left of this acrylic piece, it does have little drawers. Now these don't go too far in depth. They're just kind of like, they can hold little lip glosses, but that's about it. Um, you can't put palettes in these or anything like that. And then the little slots I found were pretty cool and pretty useful for like little small palettes, lip glosses, and they kind of slant at an angle as you can see, which makes, you know, um, displaying your lipstick organizers eyeliner pencils very very cool so down here i do have this one this one i also got on amazon sometimes this is from cq acrylics um sometimes like majority of the time they don't have it in stock it's always unavailable but if it is in stock i will link it down below these ones are pretty cool all these ones that i own i own four of these kind of little three drawer let me let me take it out so you can see and these are found used on ebay i don't even know what brand this is or what i just happened to come you know on along um on ebay and i did purchase four of them so i got lucky on that okay so then these i found at home goods so these are pretty cool they open up like that nice acrylic very good quality so those I think you can put like a monitor like a computer monitor on and then it has a little drawer so I got two of those and at one point I did have it on my vanity but I found that it took a little bit too much space um so yeah um there was that and then this one I did find on Amazon as well so if I pull this out this is pretty pretty darn neat so it just has like a little lid like that and you can open it up all the way too which i found was pretty cool because a lot of containers like this they stay up like that and i found that that was very convenient that it flaps back so this one you can put just different little whatever you want to use it for just use your imagination you know what i mean but yeah i think i found this one for 27 dollars on amazon 
Okay, moving on up here, I found two of these nice acrylic pieces at Home Goods. So these were the only two that I've ever seen there. So when I saw the two together, I just bought them. They were pretty pricey. I'm going to say that they were like $59 a piece, and I got two of them, as you can see. And somebody at that time was eyeing them, and I just put them in my basket right away because I wanted them. I thought they were so cute. Look at the gold little knobs. I, I love it. So this one is also from Home Goods. I believe I did post uh, on Instagram like my pictures uh, with this in the basket when I found it. And uh, I was just so excited that I found this one as well. Okay, so these are the container store ones. And I did purchase a couple of these on eBay and a couple of them I purchased on Amazon actually, but they are from the container store. Okay, we move up here. This one's neat. I found this. This is a recent find. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a recent find on eBay. So of course it's pre-owned. It's just a countertop used acrylic display case and it is used for lipsticks and essential oils. That's what they marketed as. There's no brand. I just found it used on eBay. So I have yet to find one brand new from like a store or a seller. So here's another one that's just like that one, except that this one has a lot of little stars, pastel like colors. Very, very cute. So this one is just like this other one that I showed you earlier. And then we move up here. So this is from Impressions Vanity. And yeah, so this one goes about maybe, let me see, about 14 to 15 inches tall. It has six drawers and the very top is just a flip lid. So, and then the knobs are beautiful, not to mention. Very good quality, very good quality. This one was like $160. Okay, so then this one is a custom uh, drawer set that I did pick up some pieces at the container store and some of them I did purchase on uh, eBay pre-owned pre-loved but in very good condition and then the one that I purchased was these two and then I think these three on eBay from somebody that had owned it and then the last this is the star of the show check this out you guys it's a carousel little turntable display case. It is so cool. I've gotten a lot of questions on where to find these. Um, I do have a video also that I did put all my ColourPop palettes and I organized them in this acrylic, so I will link that video down below. But yes, I was so excited when I got this in the mail. It does not squeak. It just, it holds all my ColourPop palettes very well. And I have yet to find where they sell these so i have no clue this is this was like new on ebay but it, it had to be under the pre-owned because there was no box or a company wasn't selling it so i just kind of like lucked out with this one all right you guys i'm a little bit out of breath i don't know why but anyways so this is my part two of my acrylic collection you guys i am the acrylic queen if you want any questions or if you have any questions on acrylics or just feel free to ask me in the comments down below. I just love putting makeup in different styles, different, you know, styles and designs of acrylics. I just, I just find that it's, it makes me want to use my makeup even more and it just find, I get more motivated. I don't know. And then I love to organize. I love to collect makeup and I you know I'm always needing storage so I mean if you find that you want unique pieces what I strongly would recommend is going to uh, eBay and typing in used acrylic organizer used acrylic jewelry display case used acrylic always put the word used in there and then you know something's gonna pop up so yes you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you did enjoy and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like these kinds of videos. Anything with makeup. I do a lot of hauls. Um, yeah, but I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to watch part one.